What's going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here and in today's video we are going to be talking care guides this time on my favorite species of marine snail uh, being the, the whole family of conch snails. Conch snails are my favorite snails and my favorite, one of my favorite inverts in my tank and I think that you can buy in the whole saltwater hobby. Uh, I rave about these little guys because of how they act in reef tanks and just because how fun they are to keep in general. Super fun to keep, uh, awesome features. Uh, unlike anything you'll keep. Um, uh, let's first talk about the structure of these guys. First thing you'll notice are uh, they have massive, they have giant eyes. I mean, it's crazy. And if you look closely, they, they kind of look like human eyes. Um, it's, it's just nuts. And they're very visible and they're, they're big too. And they have a super long proboscis uh, mouth uh, on them. Kind of resembles like an elephant's trunk. A lot of people say they're like the elephant of the ocean. Uh, which I, I can see that because they're just crazy looking creatures. Uh, they're a very odd creature and that's what makes these guys so cool and unique to keep in your reef tank. Uh, not to mention uh, they have an awesome giant shell. Uh, their shell is like really, really cool and unique. And uh, they, they can have cool patterns and they grow coralline algae on them. It's really cool. Uh, it really differenti differentiates them from other snails. Um, and then when you walk up to the tank, you'll see them watching your every move uh, when you're in front of the tank with the giant eyes. And I've been told by multiple people uh, from local fish stores and everything that these snails have better eyesight than humans, which is really something crazy. Um, but I, I totally believe that because, I mean, it, it's just nuts. You should see their eyes. You gotta look up close to them. And it's just crazy. Now I have three of the, these guys in my 60 gallon reef tank. Uh, two of them are fighting conches, which are the most common species of conch snails and the most widely available. Um, and the bigger one that you're seeing in a couple clips of this video right now, that is a strombus conch. Uh, a little bit bigger, he has a cooler pattern of a shell and it's a bigger conch snail, uh, which is really cool. Um, it's just going to be a bigger uh, species. They kind of look the same, except for their shell. That's about it. Uh, they're a little harder to find. They're not as common. Um, but they have shells that look like the ones you find on sale at a beach store, like in Hawaii or something, where they sell like the massive ones that they make like horns out of, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so now the pricing on these guys are uh, more than other snails being around, I've seen them around five to $20, depending on the species of conch snails. They're a little bit more expensive uh, inverts, cleaner crew members than most. Uh, mostly uh, the fighting conches and stuff will run you around $10. The strombus conch was like 15, um, but it's not too bad because it's, uh, it may seem like a lot for a snail, but really it's totally worth it. I mean, totally worth it. These guys, these guys are some of the hardiest snails um, and cleaner crew members that you could buy, uh, which is the reason they're so popular. I recommend these to everybody because uh, I work at a, my local fish store. I recommend them to everybody. Uh, these guys are hands down the very best cleaner for any tank with a sand bed. They're constantly sifting and burrowing in and throughout the sand, all of the sand in my tank, uh, they're all the time, and they really help to aerate the sand also, like, uh, like uh, gas exchange and stuff like that, keep the diatoms and uh, algaes from growing on top of the sand bed. They're constantly sifting through all of it. It's really, really good. I find them to be uh, better than the serious snails and sand sifting starfish, if you get enough of them. Um, I find them to be second best at cleaning sand beds only to the sand sifting goby uh, because the sand sifting goby of course uh, its food source is the sand bed so they're going to be going through that all the time uh, these guys are super easy to keep i've had great success keeping uh, multiple 
them in multiple tanks I've had over the years. You'll see them in my bio cube if you go back to my past videos. I've had them in this tank for a while. I have them in the 125 when I set that up. Uh, they're very peaceful and uh, don't be afraid because they, uh, in their name, it includes the name fighting, uh, fighting conch nails. Um, but I've never witnessed any of mine fight before. And I believe it's rare. I think they only fight each other over like a mate, but they don't fight anything else or kill anything. So extremely peaceful creatures. Uh, they get along with each other and my whole cleanup crew have never had any problems. Uh, they're extremely reef compatible, uh, but one of the downsides of having those guys is uh, that they can and will knock over some freestanding corals that are on the bottom. Uh, like those Lobo corals I have in the very uh, left of my tank, they knock those down all the way and this green kind of coral right there, uh, they knock them down, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, they don't get very big, these conch snails. Uh, they, max they max out around four inches long. My strombus conch gets a little bigger. They'll probably get to about four, oh, four to six inches, uh, four to six inch shell, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, now keep in mind these guys have a super, very big appetite. They're always eating for detritus and other sand nutrients. So uh, I would house one fighting conch in an aquarium 30 gallons or less. Uh, yeah, I'd say one 30 gallons or less, or uh, as many as you think in a larger system. Uh, you could really never have enough of these guys. But if you get to smaller tanks, just one. Uh, any 30 gallons or under, I just put one in there. Any bigger, you can put as many as you want. I say this uh, because once they ran out of food in a smaller system, it could take a while for the nutrients they feed off of to replenish. We could which can cause them to starve unless you uh, supplement their diets with like seaweed or another form of food, like fish meat, something along those lines. Uh, but these guys are also extremely intolerant of copper and uh, they don't like high nitrate levels, it may kill them. So watch your, do your water changes and you'll be good. Uh, other than that, the conch snail can be some of the very best cleaners in reef tank and be some of the most interesting and unique characters you could probably possibly add to your reef aquarium so definitely go out and pick one up or two up or ten uh, you will love them uh, just like i do so yeah guys hope you found this video to be interesting and i uh, hope you guys go out and buy some for your tank you definitely like some of my others so head on over to my channel and look at my uh, aquarium guides all the care guides i'll include the playlist at the end of this video and in the description, uh, go check out my Instagram page at Eagle Aquatics for exclusive content you don't see on this channel. Um, and stay tuned for more videos on the upcoming 125 gallon reef. Uh, let me know what you guys wanna see in the description. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get me to a thousand subscribers, we're so close. So please, Got to get up there to a thousand. Uh, it'll be awesome. Um, so yeah, guys, see you next time.